guys, today I was strolling through Target and I had a genius idea when I saw this machine. This is a carbonator fizzer. It turns any liquid into a fizzy carbonated drink. And I figured, you know what? Let me text out all of my closest fans and ask them for some suggestions on crazy drinks that I should turn into carbonated drinks. And I got some crazy results. Here are some of them now. I don't know how carbonated ketchup or carbonated tomato sauce is gonna taste, but hey, we're about to find out. If you wanna get these cool opportunities and be a part of the text fam, all you gotta do is text me and add me to your contact list. My number is 323-405-9940. It's completely free, so why not just text me? I've never actually used this before. We should start out with something easy. Let's start with some water and see if we just turn it into some carbonated water and see if this works before we start putting in some random things like soy sauce. Let's get started. So I guess you put this little tube in there. It has to reach. So that's gonna be an issue when it comes to our alcohol because we're gonna literally fill it to the brim. No cap, all brim. Here we go, let's carbonate it. Oh, it's hold on to itself. Okay, that's cool. And then you press this button on top. Okay, that was, pretty cool. that was pretty cool. Wow, that is super bubbly. It's literally like a Perrier or a LaCroix, except I think you use straight faucet water, so I see dirtiness floating around. <laughs> you didn't even use the filtered water. I'm sorry. Oh! So the first suggestion comes from Jacqueline Naria. She suggested we try orange juice, fizzy orange juice. Let's try it. Oh, it's dripping out. <laughs> it's pouring out. Oh my god! <laughs> that was the only way to cap it. That's interesting. Low key, it turned it into an orange soda. <laughs> Forget Sunkiss, guys. That is actually pretty dank. But maybe we filled it up a little bit too much because that's a big mess. The next suggestion we got was from Superb Nightmare. They said we should put a Starbucks iced mocha in there. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to just fizz it right in this cup because if not, you have to fill it all the way up to this line, which is wasting a lot of stuff. And I don't wanna waste. Let's just try to do it right up to the cup. Way better idea. Oh, this is like an iced mocha soda. Oh, let me get one more little. This is not good, guys. This one comes from Ashley McElroy. She says we should try tomato juice. Shout out to my mom, too, because she also suggested tomato juice. You can literally see the steam coming off of it. All right, here we go. I've never had regular tomato juice. <laughs> Who drinks this? Who drinks this regular? I think it needs to be more. Ah! Oh, that is disgusting. Courtney Haveman said we should try some carbonated Jack Daniels. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Oh. Whoa, you know when you burp and the steam comes out? That's what it was like smelling this right now. <laughs> That actually went down pretty easily. Not gonna cap. I can't taste the carbonation in it. Usually when I take a shot of Jack, my face is like this. Cause it's strong. This went down smooth. While we're on the topic of alcohol, Joshua Mann suggests we try some vodka. And while my mom's here, we're gonna tell her it's water and we're gonna carbonate it and see what she thinks. Mom, come here. We're gonna give you a carbonated water, right? Come over here. Yeah, but we want you to see if it works because I, I want the people to believe that this is real. Go, take a sip. Go, chug it. <laughs> this does not smell like water. Chug it. <laughs> is this vodka? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it taste a little better though. Usually you can't tolerate vodka. That's what I said yeah. about the jack! Okay. So it's true, and hey, good on you, you took that down like a champ, did y'all see that? I was like, damn, did I accidentally put water in that? <laughs> we enter a 
about this program to tell you about this fire merch. Pick some up, guys. We have the hottest merch in the game no matter what. Stop messing around with your cousin and pick up some merch. BrennanTaylor.com. Now back to the video. Why? Why, Romero Garcia, did you suggest I try carbonated soy sauce? I guess I gotta do it. Good luck, kid. It smells good. Oh my God, guys, that's the saltiest thing I've ever had in my life. Never once have I drinking straight soy sauce and never will I do it again, carbonated or not, that is gross. So I told Jake that he could suggest one item, whatever it was, and he suggested we try some yellow peppers. Well, good thing for him, he's gonna be the one trying it. What? Yep, come on over here. All right, I usually love these things. Yeah, when they're eating the actual pepper. Yeah, I've never had the juice alone. Oh. Oh my God, I'm on my nose. <laughs> I'm guessing it's not good. <coughs> oh man. Oh my god, I'm gonna go for a good second drink. The smell, it shoots all the way to your brain. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know how they say you lose your taste when you get COVID? Yep. This is the drink to test if you have COVID. <laughs> It'll bring it back, huh? Oh my god, this would bring back life from the dead. I swear <laughs> to god. Shout out to Emma Butcher for suggesting ice cream. I can see this one maybe tasting good. Let's try it. That is good, yo. Cream soda? It literally, that's exactly what it is, but with a hint of sherbet in there. I don't know how to describe sherbet, but it's fruity. It's good. I think I'm a cream soda lover now. This is so good. Talia Asaf suggested we try some apple cider vinegar. That just burned all the hairs that were in my nostril. I think I saw some fire coming out. It felt like fire came out. It's just not good. I, I don't know how to explain that. It probably wasn't good before. I'm not an apple cider vinegar guy. Literally just tastes like vinegar now. I think we lost the whole apple cider taste. We'll pass this one off to Alex Ernst. Jessica Nasir suggested we try some hot sauce. So I got some Tabasco here. Ugh. kind of hot. Stella N gave me a couple suggestions, but the one I went with was chicken broth. This should be fun. I can't imagine this being good. All right, I like chicken. Maybe I'll like the broth too. Here we go. I mean, it, it kind of tastes like sweaty sock water, but it's not like the worst thing I had. I thought it was gonna make me like, a little pungent or something. I thought it was gonna make me go, ooh, but it just tastes like chicken noodle soup. So what does soggy sock water taste like? You know, I've never had it. It's a combination of water with musk with like a real thick aftertaste, if that makes any sense at all. Don't ask me why I know. It was for scientific purposes. Man, I really don't like you, Andy Stewart. I'm just kidding, I do, but you suggested ketchup. So I love ketchup, and I hope this doesn't ruin it for me. Let's try it. I don't even know if you can fizzify this, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Nothing at all. Still tastes great. <laughs> I told you I could eat ketchup. Tastes like ketchup. The next suggestion comes from Kalan Wittenberg, and they suggested I try carbonated milk. Ooh. Let's do it. As you know, I'm already lactose intolerant, so this ain't gonna go down very well. <laughs> Trying to get to the milk. Oh. oh my God. That is something that should never be done by anybody. 
Holy hell! I should not have said that, I just sinned, I'm sorry Lord, but that is disgusting! Oh my god. Imagine, imagine a soda milk, like literally just soda milk. Mm. If you enjoyed seeing me turn random liquids into carbonated drinks, smash a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, text me down below 323-405-9940, and maybe I'll do a part two with even more crazy drinks. But I need to know, did you guys like it? Comment down below and let me know. I love you guys so much. Make sure you keep streaming Girl Next Door. We're almost at 100,000 streams on Spotify. We're getting pretty close. Go stream it. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, I'll see you I'm falling for the girl next door. Been through hell and bad, that's why she don't get attached. I'm falling for the girl next door. I'm falling for the girl next door. Everybody wanna bad bitch, I already had it.